There's been a lot of conversation around what the best knot is to attach two ropes together for a double rope rappel. And what they're finding is that when rappelling on two ropes on the flat overhand knot, the flat overhand knot will take about six kilonewtons before it will roll on itself. The flat overhand is very secure, but there is argument for adding security to your double rope rappel in certain applications, specifically when you'll be loading the knot with higher forces than a normal rappel. Some examples of higher forces might be when there are two people waiting the rope at the same time in a tandem rappel, a counterbalanced rappel, or in a rescue application. Another example would be if you are in an environment where there is potential for higher force, such as ice falling onto your rope or an avalanche causing more force to the system. If you are performing a rescue using mechanical advantage, mechanical advantage applies more force to the system than you would otherwise be able to with your own strength. And the last application might be if you're doing a double rope rappel and you accidentally miss your rappel station and climb back up causing slack in your rappel lines, risking taking a fall and causing more force than normal. A knot that's more secure that you may choose to use in any of those applications would be the double pass through flat overhand knot, which was an extra credit knot earlier on in the course. And another knot you could use is a double strand barrel knot, which still gives you the benefit of a flat knot that smoothly rolls over edges. It's the exact same knot that you would use at the end of your ropes for a rappel. The difference is that we're just tying it with two ropes now. The double strand flat barrel knot can be just as efficient to tie as the flat overhand and only slightly bulkier, but it does give you quite a bit more security. So just like with the flat overhand, you're going to want plenty of tail. So start by making one loop and a second loop. And cross the tails around the first loop. And when you come back around, thread both tails under the X there. Pull them through. And just as with the flat over hand, you'll grab the knot and pull four individual strands to tighten it up and make sure that there's no crosses between both ropes throughout the knot. There it is. 